All right, there's the fight song. Fight, fight something. The finest audio that money can buy. Yep. Hello and welcome to the USC Trojan Outsider Podcast. I'm Rick Barbera. This is Scott Pitts. Damn right. And we're about ready to talk about Trojan football for the next 30 minutes or so. And we are not officially affiliated with the University of Southern California. So, uh, if you have small children and you're at work, put us on headphones because this week we're probably going to swear a little bit more than usual. Well, we have every reason to. All opinions expressed are uniquely ours. And get ready to hear a few of them. Because last week, we failed again to beat Stanford. You know, it was a good two-year run. I, I will say, say that. What do you mean failed again? Uh, we, it's been a couple years. We had their number for a couple years, and they obviously had ours at the Coliseum last Saturday night. Uh, let me give credit where credit is due before we talk about anything else. 41-31, hail Stanford. Hale, Raymond Wright had three rushing touchdowns. Kristen McCaffrey looked NFL-esque in his 115 yards rushing. Devon Kajust and Austin Hooper caught those TD passes from Kevin Hogan, a fifth-year senior. And ninth what, year senior, I think. Ninth year senior, and what I will say is that offensive line for Stanford looked professional based on uh, our defensive line. Well, Now, these guys were veteran uh, USC faced a veteran team. Uh, the defense did not look as good as the offense on Saturday night and sadly came up short 41-31. So that is the first loss of the season. Now we've got a choice. Go in the tank or get ready to play football Saturday night against the Arizona State Sun Devils. Pitsy, what would you do? I would... Um, go in the tank? Nope. I'd go the other Even way. Even if it were sensory deprivation, you wouldn't go in the tank? No, I would not. I'd get ready to play some football. You'd think a team that put up 427 yards, 31 points... Should probably win that football game. I'm sorry, right? that was us. That was USC. Yeah, yeah. the 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 numbers the numbers suggest one thing, and the the outcome and watching it on television was very different. Yeah, they just could not stop the vaunted Stanford offense. Now it remains to be seen whether Stanford's going to you know finish out their season well. They they seem to have Oregon's number. We all know what they did to UCLA last year, so it's they're not a joke team. That's they, true. They obviously are bright enough at Stanford. By the way, they do get better every week. They're well coached. This is a team that could do big things in the Pac-12 because there's a lot of football yet to be played. Well, I'm rooting for them now because I'd like to see them again in December. Oh, and we do. That's right. They are in the Pac-12 North, that's so how that there's could a work. chance so that we could we could play them again. They could win that out, and SC could turn their stuff around and pull their heads out of their butts. Then that'd be fun. That's that's me thinking best case scenario right mm-hmm. now. So I don't want to be all doom and gloom. Uh, because there were some bright spots on the Trojan side. Sua Cravens, who's pretty much ready to go play now uh, in the NFL, had 13 tackles and a sack. Uh, Cody Kessler tossed for uh, tossed three touchdowns. Uh, he tossed two to Stephen Mitchell, uh, one to Juju Smith-Schuster. And know him? I know him. You know him. I know of him. And then the the thing that sort of is, is uh, glaring, got to clean that up for this week, uh, eight Really ridiculous penalties for 87 yards. Yeah. A lot of that looked like the uh, the refs were, were looking for things to call on the Trojans. But, uh, sort of. Maybe that was me being a homer. But Could, uh, could be a little bit of that, too. Man, that was – there was some ticky-tack shit. So you let, it, you let it as a player sink in, uh, from what I'm told anyway. I did not play college football, obviously. <laughs> but you, uh, you let that dwell. You dwell on it for about 24 hours, then forget it, and you go forward. So there's a, an opportunity yep. here to – and did you notice that I tagged Coach Justin Wilcox on the, on the Twitter? Well, you weren't I, the only one. At, yep. didn't, I guess it's – what is it? I tweeted – I put his hash – or his, his yeah, you, Twitter handle. Yeah. Uh, you included him in your tweet. Like I don't, you wanted him to see it. Yeah, I don't want to run from a fight. I don't want to run and say there's, there's some uh, – you have the opportunity this week, Coach Wilcox and Coach Sarkeesian, to to really make a statement and yeah. go to a place that des- Arizona State deserves to get beaten this week, and I think we definitely have the do. tools to do it. Um, Coach Wilcox's statements uh, this week do not lead me to believe that uh, uh, it, did, it did not instill confidence, let's put it that way in me, saying that uh, he needs to simplify things and make a more vanilla defense to do things right. Uh, mm-hmm. Everybody else that I know has been calling for the opposite with a little more aggression, a little more stunts, uh, anything that you can do to get different players and get some pressure on the quarterback. USC, when they did get pressure, um, 
basically sprained Kevin Hogan's ankle, and he still got off. Mm -hmm. He still did whatever he wanted against the Trojans. Gave him a lot of time. And there's a there there (laughs) are some, uh, you know, it's time to. Time to switch it up a little bit. Yeah. We'd like to welcome uh, to the USC Outsider podcast, Mr. James James Lashore. Hey. James, I know hey. him too. James, Whoa. come on in. Hey. James hey. Lashore, you may know him. Hey everybody from hey. from For Your Love. You may know him from Mr. Sunshine. You may know him from Las Vegas. You may know him uh, from Men at Work. You may know him not from the band though, right? Nah. You weren't in the band. We Men at Work. From a down. Down under, a yeah. land down under. Now I come from Gardena and Carson. <laughs> so those are different kids than me. Yeah. And, do you, and Crimson Tide. Crimson Tide. Yo, that carry that movie. Would you like to The say? movie, not the football team. <laughs> so how, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. You man. look it's fantastic. You, brothers. I feel good. And it's good I to see you. I appreciate the compliment. It's good to be here with you. Talking is Trojan football. Trojan lives matter. Let's go. We, uh, <laughs> I like that. James, um, James and I went to school together at the University of Southern California. Yeah, and saw some saw some football games there. Mm-hmm. We, some bad we saw ones some bad time. ones. We saw some bad ones. Yeah, you know, I was just a small SC fan at that time. Who was who right. was coaching? There at was the a, time? Coach Larry Smith. Yeah, it just coach. seemed sort of dry to me. That, the late that, Larry that, Smith. That, oh well, may he rest in peace and be in a better place. But uh, <laughs> during during our time there. Like, yeah, the football was kind of dry. I really mm-hmm. started getting into uh, the football during the Pete Carroll days, you know, with the, the you they know, had, the liner. T- and, uh, you, absolutely. And, you and a lot of other people. Yeah. And there's there's <laughs> no. nothing wrong with that. I respect y'all for being true, there's true, true, regardless of who's at the helm, you know. Now, do you remember any any games that stand out in college or after college that, uh, you know, I, I, for instance, let's see, you mentioned that, uh, you know, being in there for, for, for liner. You were actually – at Notre Dame for the Bush Push in 2005. Yeah, that was an incredible experience that I hope to remember for my entire life. That and was you, fun. You told me at the time that there was a a moment when it happened at the end. You saw Notre Dame celebrate and try to rush on the field. Yeah. Well, well they. It, I mean, we had, I had already resigned myself that it was over because we had the win streak. I was like, oh, they got us, they got us, they yeah. got us. Yep. And, you know, the momentum was all in their favor and everybody was partying. And then when my man completed that, you know, that pass was 60, 68. Uh, Dwayne Jarrett to Dwayne Jarrett. Yeah. I mean, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was an amazing game. I was so happy to be there. And one, I remember one thing that's, that stands out in my mind in particular, like after the game was over, you know, we were trying to be sort of, you know, rel- relatively were reserved you in our USC celebration. Stuff? Yeah, I had to represent out there. But, uh, you know. So we were trying to be nice to the folks around us, but there was this gentleman who was all Notre Dame. A uh, priest? He, he must have been yeah. <laughs> 70, in his 70s or something like that. He had a little tear oh. coming out of his... Another <laughs> <laughs> little iron side tear crying uh-huh. on And, I, you know, I had to feel some compassion for him, but, you know, we, we hollered back oh, at the that's hotel. That's good. There was a, wasn't, there like a, wasn't there like a vacuum when they realized, oh, God... He scored. That's a touchdown. They 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 did it, and and only a small section of the stadium went yeah. <laughs> right. That was, that was, that was, that was unbelievable, man. I Good think time. most of that place thought that the, that thought that it was a penalty, and they're like, no, 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 he didn't get in as a penalty. As a penalty. And they're still crying about that. Yeah. But, yeah, and I mean, there's the great thing about that that particular game is there's there's things like the there they grew the grass long. You know, that's what that's. That oh, was really? an excuse at the, at the time. And Pete Carroll, I think Pete Carroll said, well, the grass is long on both sides of the that's, field. That's right. Uh, we got still beat him. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a concern. We still were yeah. able to beat him. You, nah, so it's you instant were at that game. It was instant classic. Yeah. And there's some, some UCLA games you were, you were there. Yeah, I forget those mostly, though. UCLA is pretty yeah. forgettable. Because you. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yep. It's just a thing. James is a big UCLA fan. UCLA <laughs> basketball. I do. I do. Uh, I can respect and Get appreciate the game. No, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Get off of my show. And you show. know, I'm, I'm wondering, like, what's up with SC's program? This is a big school. I know it's, you know, primarily football school, but mm-hmm. we should have a basketball game program together by now. You would now, think right? so. Think. You would absolutely uh, what's think the deal? so. SC just pulled in uh-huh. a real nice recruit last week, and I can't remember For his next name. year. For next this year. This is the thing. Our guys do leave early, but if they, I mean, maybe if they stayed a year or more i mean we could really sort of make some noise in attorney there have, know. i'd there love that been, they haven't been able to attract a, a a really like a big name coach for some reason there there's not it it the job itself doesn't lend itself to having someone come in of the caliber of like alfred at, at ucla or yeah. somebody uh in 
I don't know, name it. Like, it's certainly not going to get an ACC caliber coach to come to the Pac-12 and coach at USC. Not yet, anyway. Right. But they haven't done it, and they haven't. You know, they just it hasn't happened. The coaches haven't been there. There's there hasn't been the yeah. type of success that that they've had. I'm I don't know. There hasn't been that. a lot of a lot of success. There has not been a lot of success in football either. So that's a. Uh, I know we. Uh, I'm I'm okay with us turning it around in football too, man. But water uh, polo, look out. I believe in women's volleyball and tennis. It's good. We beat UCLA <laughs> women's volleyball in three straight sets uh, last night. And and what, what women's sport? volleyball? Take that, which is fun to watch. Yeah, in your face, that's a beautiful sport. It's yeah, a gorgeous male or female's sport. doing it, and, and it's a dope sport. Coeds on the floor for UCLA and USC. It's a great. Great battle. I'll take that. In really short shorts. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. That's a win. I mean, what are we I, and I, I, I think Sharkeesian is going to get it together too, man. I call him the shark. I like it. I think he's going to, uh, you know, turn the troops around here. And the football season will finish strong this season. Do you oh, call him I that? feel that. I, I, I like that. I'm I, calling I national championship. Right. I did it, you know, even at the beginning of the season. So last weekend's loss was hurtful and a bit of a shock to me. Mm-hmm. The road just got a little tougher. And but we can we can bounce back, man. We can rebound. That's right. You want to lose early. It's early enough. And, you, that. and yeah, and you want to lose. Well, you don't want to lose in your conference, but at least it's to the north and not the south. So, you got to win your south. Yeah. So, no, that, so that helped a little bit. There was even that that year where we dropped a game to to Kansas State and Carson Palmer ended up I think at the end of that year winning the Heisman. Oh, nice. And that was when Carroll was coaching. So we did lose along the way that year. He single-handedly won the Heisman that year against Notre Dame. It was no, the Notre Dame yeah. game. Yeah. And that oh, was, yeah? But that was also uh, Justin Vargas running, I think, just insane yeah, amounts that, of yards. He, he ran from our 20-yard line to their 20-yard line, which really broke their back. That yeah. was like, you're not going to win this series for a while now, Notre Dame. It's yeah. but different. Which that was, that was, was long that's what I remember about it. Yeah, that and those days are over. Is the Notre Dame game this season here or it the, is there? It's, it's in October, there. around yeah. October. Are we 17th. going? Are we breaking going? news, well, guys? Breaking news. Breaking news. I'm, I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going now. What happened? Yeah, that's a long story. Are you? Are you going? I haven't. I haven't committed to it yet. I'd like to go. We were talking I about had going such to, a to great Vegas time to do it, two years to ago. Watch it. Yeah, we might. Uh, we might watch it in Vegas. That'd be a nice auto right there. If you'd like to go. Yeah, we did that before and it's worked out pretty well for us. That'd be great. I'd like that. So you're invited to that. All right, thank that, you. If that happens. Now, you the, all uh, are invited, too. Come on out. Yeah, these two fine. Represent fine your, you know, have your colors, your right colors on. Have that Irish green stuff. We'll tell you where we're going to be. Uh, and you guys can go. It's going to be a day spa um, in a small, <laughs> very small pool. Off the strip. Yeah, some would say a, like a service-sized uh, shower. Uh, but it will be, there will be music uh, and free drinks. <laughs> Let's do it. I so will bring, be playing um, my, my iPhone <laughs> And the music. <laughs> Lots of music and one, and one girl. <laughs> and one girl. <laughs> Tons of guys and just... I was thinking, though, man, I'm going to pass on the trip. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, didn't, no, I'm coming. I didn't sell I'm it. Coming. I'm I, coming. I oversold <laughs> it. This is what happened. That's I just, what happened. I just hey, oversold Rick, it there. <laughs> tell yeah. me something real quick. I'm, this is a delicious drink. What are we having oh, tonight? tonight? Uh, yeah, tonight, you all drink was, on this show. Can I come back then? Yeah, have any time. This drink tonight is called the West Side. It's from... I think it was... It was sort of... Part of the employees only gang in in New York City, and they made this. It's 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 cousin, I think, is the South Side, which is gin. This is a vodka based drink, and it's, it's got a couple ounces of vodka, lemon juice, uh, then some simple syrup, and you mix it with lime, and then you know pour it over ice, and there's then a enjoy little it. mint in there. You know what you're doing? Yeah, there's yeah. Still yeah, yeah. like mint. Did you muddle it? No, nope, yeah, yeah. no, no. Just throw the the mint leaves in there like and it. just shake it, and then pour it and, nice. uh, over ice, and then enjoy it. No, it's super mm, refreshing. I don't know if you all know out there, but it's hot still in uh, it's Cali, really, it's Southern hot. Cali. We're sweating. In yeah, it's so like uh, 82 degrees at night, and this drink is hitting the spot. Right. Good. Good. So thank you. Yeah, that's Enjoy the, it. That's Fight on, everybody. So thanks for that. Fight on and you drink on responsibly. Now, where <laughs> if, if I wanted to see you, James, uh, aside from being right here, what's the, what's <laughs> the next thing I can see you on? Uh, you know, I think we're uh, about to start a uh, uh, production of uh, a sitcom. Mm-hmm. Uh, Uncle Buck on ABC. We, oh, yeah. uh, we're, I think we're scheduled to start working on that next month, and I think it'll hit the air hopefully in uh, January or February, and uh, you know be worth watching. So, uh, Uncle on, Buck on on ABC on ABC on ABC awesome. Uncle Buck on ABC. Yeah. And, and are you in that with anyone that that we might know of and like? Yeah, you may uh, you may have heard of uh, the, the uncle guy who's playing Uncle Buck is Michael Laps. He's mm-hmm. uh, a funny stand up and grinding for a few years and uh, the lovely Miss Nia Long right. has been on um, blessing you know sets for many years herself so uh all right we're sort of the adults in there we got a, a group of young kids in there too that are, are talented 
Excellent. Now, are you playing the uh, the principal character, and who is playing the Molly Ringwald character? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Molly that's not, Ringwald that's, is not, that's not the un- correct not, uh, John Hughes. No, film man. No, no. And I want to be Jake too. If I was in there, I want to be Jake. That's my boy. Uh, we are. They, they are remaking the John Candy uh, movie, correct? Right. With and that's that is going to be because it was all, it was centered around a holiday, right, or a, a funeral. The John you know, I Candy never movie. See, I've never seen the uh, the feature film. You should. It's funny. Yeah, I, well, I'm probably, thinking about checking it. Will out. it matter though, or is is this just a reimagining, or is this like a, a, a ta- are the characters the same names? But they they just turned the tables it's the a little bit. Same characters this... twenty five years later, <clears throat> and a little darker. I and think. A, yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel <laughs> not, like, but I feel like true. we have taken a couple of the scenes directly from cool. uh, the movie. So okay. uh, we'll see. Like I said, I, I'm I I've yet to see the movie, but who's a? Uh, I've yet to see the pilot. I've yet to read the script. Hey. No, I've, I've read the script. Now, are you are you actually in this production? <laughs> I, I mean, are you have you been? I am. I am. I promise you. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to trust you on it. <laughs> best looking girls in the Pac-12. Just no segue whatsoever. <laughs> best best school, best looking girls in the Pac-12. Your Yo, opinion. Listen, we had a Your great pick. run at SC. I mean, yes, I don't know. Do. While I was there, uh, I was really happy to be there. Mm-hmm. So SC, I know, represents. I heard good things about ASU. But we're about mm-hmm. to, uh, they invented internet porn <laughs> as well as online dating. <laughs> and, and now they've mixed I the two. It. I've heard that they've now combined the two, and they do uh, internet porn dating. Oh, it's real. I don't. I hope the hackers never get a hold of the new day. Addresses. Uh, so the uh, I don't know. So those are all. I mean, all I know is SC babes, and um, you know, back from back in the day. Rick was, is, is quite fond of the organ girls. Oh yeah, yeah? I think they. The the SC cheerleaders have been the song girls have been fantastic the last couple of years. Okay. The, I would argue though, putting them side by side against the Oregon cheerleaders, there's there's room. But see, then they wear those nasty green colors and yeah, whatever else. It, so it's a uh, it's been neck and neck <laughs> for me the last few years. Yeah. <laughs> it's off putting. Uh, I'm sure I'm off putting. I'm gonna start uh, peeping it out, man. I, I pay <laughs> too little attention to it, but I'm gonna have to start peeping it out. Do you know what time the game is this week? I, I'm hearing, uh, I'm just hearing now uh-huh. from the producers in the ear that it's uh, Saturday at 7.30. That is true. Mm-hmm. Pacific time, Pacific the only time. time that matters. Pacific that time. That is absolutely West correct. Side, like I don't this know how. drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys that are going to be sweating out in the desert how you did that. representing USC should be drinking West Sides. Um, Kickoff time is expected to be 114 degrees. And that's why they moved it to 7.30 because it'll only be oh, 114. Is that, for real? Is that real? No, no I think not. part of the reason is because SC shit the bed last week. Against Stanford, we want, I can say uh, that we, we, they, we don't have to bleep that out. Nice. And then, um, um, the so you know, they, they they we don't get a prime time game, but it's better for the kids. They don't have to play in that. Yeah, 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 this is too. We want our boys to survive but that. Yeah, if you're, come if you're back. a fan of USC football on the East Coast, that sucks because your kickoff time is 10:30 p.m. Come on, yeah, what I did that a couple couple games last year, and it was it was not fun staying yeah, yeah. up for that, having a. No. One year old at the time. It was kind of like going on spring break to Laughlin, Nevada. <laughs> That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> That's what we did. Oh. <laughs> we did that in college. Yeah, that's fine. That's Jazz we and I went to Jazz, uh, <laughs> me, George, Jazz, Scotty. What up? Went to Laughlin, Nevada for, you guys went for spring break. We didn't even go. Nah, man. We didn't even go water. We didn't even go on the river. We were out of our maybe. depth. Twenty-two dollars to our name. Yeah, well, that four, sounds about right. Unless I think we were there a night. Yeah, I don't think we stayed the whole. We it was our entire spring break. But for some reason, we could only go. I think Here's for what you should have done. Hours. You take that twenty-two dollars. Half of it was in the car, and you put, yes. it, on, put it all on black. Spin it. <laughs> spin it. You could have had One forty-four dollars. One yeah. of us did that. Yeah. And uh, then you keep doing that, and then you have by the end of the night, you have two thousand four hundred sixty-two dollars. I did. I did some quick math there, and it's that not was right. Nice. That was Don't nice. check me. That could be. Um, that could be you could be. You right. guys could have had a fine weekend. That would have been nice. Blew. We didn't get any breakfast vouchers. Nothing, man. We just. <laughs> you have no. to gamble to do that, and you have to win. It's we did get asked to leave thing. on one of our birthdays. We did get asked to leave mm. the, <laughs> the Excalibur. Tape. Part two is up. You're live. What? Should I come in? What I uh, momentarily, but what I what I was the most yeah come on in David. What I was most impressed with about uh, Shotgun's article is that this and this is what him saying. You know how you you ask how many times did you blitz in pressure, determining then quoting determining blitzes against rush attempts is a difficult proposition because players don't pursue upfield as they do on a pass play. 
Uh, more importantly, uh, I should say this. There's how a coaching staff determines pressure is completely arbitrary. What he goes on to say is that there were many looks that we threw at the Stanford offense. Many looks that we gave him from three down to four down to seven, you know, guys on the line. For some reason, the luck just wasn't on our side last week. It was, it was, you know, sort of a pain in the ass and very tough to watch. Our offense did, you know, everything they could. Unfortunately, uh, hopefully he'll be back this week. But Trey, I know, hurt himself at the end of the third quarter. Oh boy. Um, and uh, I think everyone was trying not to tweet happy thoughts, uh, but. Now, I was going to make I a joke about finger, Miles I Jack, my and I just blew the, the whole button. damn rhythm thing. I didn't put enough simple syrup in that one. Oh. <laughs> um, so um, uh, we did have some people that were asking, like, I just got a text that said, why is this starting and stopping? It's called crappy internet, okay? We're working on it. We uh, And we lost... These uh, fine studios here at Sycamore. <laughs> we lost somebody. Well, Jazz had to go. Jazz has things to do. We gained James somebody. James has though. things to do. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Hi. So I'm here. David's here. Hey, David. Uh, but, uh, Welcome. How'd you get there? Uh, Where would you come from? The magic. Ma- the magic of broken internet. Yeah. Um, but uh, it was really fun to hear James it do, was some, good and, do and some talking. I was excited to hear about the new show. And, of course, everybody, if you do get ABC, whether that's streaming, online with your cable company, with digital bunny ears, however you <laughs> steal it from your parents' cable uh, in Las Vegas, <laughs> Uncle Buck, ABC. Uh, and I, I don't coming know what's going on. Coming yeah. very soon. And you got to watch and our friend I'm James. And I'm still trying to get the Macaulay USC Culkin part. Alum. That's kinda, where Macaulay Culkin got his part. That, his, his, that his new big break kind of looks like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> yeah. You look just so like I, did a, I did a he, visual thing yeah. for those of you just listening. Um, what do you have to, while I prepare my notes about ASU, what do, you, what do you have to say? What's going on this week, little David? Uh, well, in first of all, I want to say uh, uh, here's to the loss. That was that was sad. It I was do, tough. I do. Um, I kept my Jesus. finger off the Twitter button. Did, did, if you can look at Rick's face right now, <laughs> you said to her, um, he and just I had, did it. And I, I just looked like a porky pig. Just so while we were away, <laughs> Scott Vince decided to make some drinks. I was, was I was asked to make some uh, drinks, okay. and I went true. off of your. I went off of <laughs> your thing. The only thing I didn't do was shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is right. It's stirred, not shaken. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I just wanted to you say... You okay. You're right. Somehow it's my so, fault. So no. going into the entertainment segment Make or the, out, damn drink. The, the outside of football, <laughs> the, the outside outsider of football, uh, I was going to mention a couple of things. One is uh, Trojan Kyle Mooney, mm. who, is a, uh, who was a featured player on SNL, has been promoted to a regular cast member. Nice. Uh, and this is his third, third season, right? Third that season sounds on? right, yeah. Um, Congrats, Kyle. I think Beck Bennett has... Uh, he should be, too. I, I, I would be surprised if they promoted Kyle and not Beck. Uh-huh. Uh, but So Kyle is officially a cast member. Um, in, in the SNL world, though, there was something I, I, I want to talk to you guys about because you, you follow the sketch comedy world. But it turns out uh, Daryl Hammond, you know, who has taken over for uh, Don Pardo and mm-hmm. is now the longest-running cast member in the history of SNL, uh, who is there to do, play Bill, Bill Clinton... But they had a big thing that he's not going to do Donald Trump, who he's been doing Donald Trump yeah. for a long time. And it turns out uh, uh, Taron Killen or whatever, Killen, Taron, yep. what's his name? Taron Killen. Taron Killen. So uh, he he's going to he do, can, he auditioned and he got the Donald Trump thing. Well, and if I he can do like, a better Trump, then let the yeah, man sure. who can do the better Trump. I don't know. I, think, I like Trump. Taron. I think, think Daryl, uh, I'm, I'm okay with him. I thought he, he, he had some issues on the heat. Uh, he was a little over the top in the heat. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, That'll be interesting to see. That's just my SNL segue. The other thing I was going to bring up is uh, fellow Trojan Tim Dowling, who we've mentioned on the show, or we mentioned on the Frogcast, uh, who went to school with us, uh, who wrote uh, Pixels and Just Go With It in a bunch of movies. Uh, he announced today that he is um, he is doing a rewrite on an old um, Trevorrow, the director of Return of the – not Return of the Jedi, director of Episode Nine, Colin Trevorrow. Yep who directed uh, Lost World, is doing a time travel movie called Stealing Time that Tim Dowling is now doing a pass on. And that he announced today that he's going to be doing that. So it's did he, part he also announced that he's going to be financing The Outsider from here on out. Uh, he, oh, did, right. he did announce that, too. Oh, thank you, Tim. Yeah. Pitts, you need to come to that, his party so you can, see, that. You, so you can see his life-size um, uh, Han Solo and Frozen Carbonite yeah. that's in his like well, living I, room. It's pretty Im- impressive. If I ever got an invite... I'll, I'll, you know what? Tim, I'm going to challenge be... Tim Dowling to uh, <laughs> to uh, to invite Scott Pitts to uh, his party. I'm fun at parties. 
way more fun at parties. So that's that's my entertainment stuff. Um, I was going to mention Mike Uppendahl because he's he's directing something somewhere. I think Always. he's doing American Horror Story, the new stuff. But right. I, I don't know when. I'll talk about that next show. week. Okay. But other than that, uh, we have Arizona to talk about, right? And yes, we do. So I'll get the fuck out of here, right? Good. Okay. Sure, man. Thanks for coming okay. by. Thank you, David. Love you, you all. Oh, uh, go to I see the frog and check all the. Oh wait, I had one other thing I was going to ask. Oh, Shit. I want to do this on air. <laughs> Do I have permission Uh-oh. to cut together some of the footage I shot the other day? It's real sad. No, I don't think. I'd, I'd like to see it first. Okay, so if I yeah. I did shoot some Rick stuff with you there, and but... Mark and James, uh, a future guest, <laughs> the game? watching yeah, the game, yeah. <laughs> and it's real sad. It's yeah. real sad. So maybe after Arizona, after we beat Arizona and we were back like on the that. up twi- uh, It up is thing? Arizona State. Arizona it's State, not, sorry. It's not where your parents went. Yeah, you're right. Or did you, your mom went there as well? Yeah. Yes, U of A. Both okay. my m- both my parents went to U of A with um with uh, a guy named Jerry Rivers, but you know him as Geraldo Rivera. That's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh, anyway, okay, we'll wait. We'll save on that. But I do have some extra footage that I'm going to try to try to cut. Yes, together. Yes, I'd like to give a give a. Maybe at the end of the season when it's not so painful. I'll do some that voiceover for that. Yeah. I'll do some okay. voiceover for okay, it, like set it up. And well, like, do some yeah. voiceover right now. I can do it. Just, 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 uh, just go ahead and uh, narrate what what Pitts is feeling. I'm just amazed that what I was feeling, I was <laughs> able to keep my fingers off the Twitter machine. Oh, it was rough. And then I saw your your tweet oh, yeah. that said, "But that was to everybody." USC outsider was, though, don't tweet angry. And I, I didn't. That just like reinforced me. I was like, "Okay." Tweeted to you, oh. Conquest Chronicles, and uh, yep. and Reign of Troy, because I could. It was almost like one of those things that there, there's an opportunity for a lot of venom, real yep. quick, and maybe it was maybe it's been earned. Maybe that will that will be earned again Saturday night. But I, I was thinking like, what what is the the safest thing I could write? And I just kind of wanted to you know I and the really the only reason I, I copied those three is I just thought that's what I read. Well, I'm, and I'm part of Outsider and sort of uh, Conquest Chronicles when I yeah. when I need to write something and submit it to them. Um, I should probably get on that though. I have. Get been, on that I've been shit. Lax. Start writing. Get on that shit. I covered it. I co- the last thing I wrote for them was when uh, when Diddy uh, threw the, <laughs> the oh yeah the kettlebell at yeah. the coach and that's so that's been swept. That under kid's the off the team now too, right? He got cut. no, no. I think he's. Uh, I think. I think I he thought, got cut. I thought Snoop no, he Dogg's, quit. He got cut. Snoop Dogg's kid quit. That's right. That's I thought that Diddy's oh. kid was still on the team and playing. Diddy and Snoop Dogg, or maybe Snoop Dogg wanted to wanted to transfer. I I don't know. One of the two. I don't. That's how much I read up on UCLA. Well, regardless, UCLA is in a world of shit. Miles Jack got hurt in, yeah, yeah. in, in practice this week. He's out for the season. There's also that D line as well, and their cornerback too. Eddie Vanderdose too, right? for the season is gone. And um, the cornerback is gone the, too. Well, he's going to be. He's being reinstated because they're not filing uh, felony charges. So Ooh. Mora announced today he will be back and pl- probably playing this week. So then, who do they play? They play Arizona. They call them. But yes, you're play. right. You, they did lose to injury the starting they pay, cornerback. They play U of A. But they got they, the other the one back. Play. Was, this week? Oh, they okay. got the other one. Be, he's the one who smacked the guy with the cell phone, the Uber driver. Right. Not kidding. Right. Oh, not that's kidding. true. That's true. He, he's stolen an Uber driver's cell phone. But oh. there will be no felony charges, and he's been reinstated. You know, it's acceptable team. if it's Lyft, but not mm-hmm. Uber. That's right. That's right. Um, I, I there's, there's just no respect for anything. So they're going to recruit Mark Harmon back, right? He's going to come back in and do some uh, quarterback. Why? Game? They have the heir apparent to Jesus Christ himself. His name is Josh Rosen. Oh. Apparently, this is uh, he's the new savior of Westwood. So. Oh. He's good. That's well, he's good, but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes for gonna him. Going to make a cruel Bear analogy. Down. Uh, but I'm not. He hasn't faced in a team like Arizona yet, so that'll be a fun game to but watch. That's, this that's we're rooting the, for Arizona heavy because yes, uh, because Always. you know my whoever's folks. playing UCLA, I don't care. I'm sure, yeah. everybody's going to uh, not watch Westwood High this weekend. What we will be watching is is USC versus ASU at mm-hmm. seven thirty p.m. Uh, last year, quarterback Mike Bercovici. Bercovici. I think I'm saying it right. Bercovici. Yep. Bergevici. Yeah, Bergevici. Let me do it that way. Two seasons there, Bergevici. Uh, Is that was, racist? Uh, very accurate. And no. then, of course, we had the uh, we had the Hail Mary that we lost. We almost beat them at the Coliseum last year, and then mm. that uh, that just uh, should have beat them at the Coliseum last uh, year. They utilized DJ that in the Foster. Bin. It's gone. I don't remember. Yep. Good. It's an easy one to forget. Yeah. It's tough to go into, the, into to Tempe forget. though and uh, and pull a pull a victory out of there. The funny, I say this ev- almost every year for these games. One of the funniest things that I've seen in an ASU game, and it wasn't even uh, USC playing ASU, there was a, <laughs> a ball that got into the stands in the student section, naturally. And the security guards, for whatever reason, were pursuing the gentleman with the ball. Now, either it, it was not a regulation ball and it had been passed on the field or thrown up uh, into the stands to be played with. But as 
this student was being pursued by the security guard. He, and th I'm sure YouTube has it somewhere. I don't know what game it is. Uh, and that's why I'm not, I'm not embellishing. I just, this is what he did. The student kind of looks at the security guard, kind of <laughs> hands it to him, and then turns around and <laughs> fires the football over the edge of the, of the stadium <laughs> and out into the parking lot somewhere. <laughs> just, and Go the, get it. Then the, you can see the security guard's shoulders drop. <laughs> Oh. Shrug and then just oh, go man. back to like I can't, I can't my get job the ball. Is, is, is not, is, There's I also no job. Wasn't it UCLA versus ASU where they had the fan come on as the fake referee <laughs> and oh, actually blow the ball dead? Really. I don't know that. He blew the ball dead and took the ball and started <laughs> to run with it. I, that one I know is on. That reminds is on me of that Tom Green bit. Remember, remember the Tom Green bit where he would go to the soccer games? You loved that bit the back whistle. in the day because yeah. he dressed he, up as a. And he had the the uh, Mexican music in the boombox, and uh -huh. he would just run in and just kick into like kids' soccer games. He'd and score it was, goal and score he goals. Took, he took a he took a ball and, and went down the field and scored. I'll find a goal. that. I'll find that bit and we'll we'll post that Try as part of the Try and find that uh, Arizona State. I'll guy find that. Yeah, so remind me that one in the write up in the write up. Remind me only one that might be a challenge of the two that we just mentioned: the Tom Green bit and. The uh, and the the guy with the fake referee, who I believe it's Arizona State and UCLA, is cause uh, is the one where the the guy just fires the ball into the into the stadium, like into the lights. He just fires it up and it goes That's away. Fantastic. Like, okay, you want it? <laughs> the fact the that uh, the reason we can't find him is because both of them are convicted child molesters is <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. is amazing. <laughs> That's true. That, well, uh, <laughs> that came back around. Alleg yeah, I wanted, allegedly, I wanted, nope. allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> no. Um, that's, that's, all. that's not true. No, nope, not sure. true. That's not true. That's well, my I job think, is to dispel all that. I think the truth will come out about that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let you guys wrap up. Thank but you. Uh, also, by okay. the way, quick cheers. Quick cheers to James LaShore. It was yes. his birthday. Oh, we yeah. had Pitts' birthday, that's then right. my birthday. His birthday, was the 21st. Birthday, so birthday September baby. James LaShore. Do oh. appreciate him coming on the show. Thank you. And please go to icthefrog.com. Follow that shite. And uh, that's all. And fight on. Thank you. Rick. Scott Pitts. Tell me. Yeah. You had something to say? No. I want you to tell me a little bit about Arizona State. I know about Berkovici. He's good. I don't think he's Kevin Hogan good, but he beat us last year on a Hail Mary. He uh, he did, and I do not think that his offensive line is as experienced as Stanford's. Uh, I think that the, uh, the other guy to watch for is DJ Foster. They'll line him up all over the field, as we've heard all week. Yep. Um, Arizona State is, is currently 2-1, and one, same as USC. Arizona State has played. Uh, uh, they they lost to an SEC team. They lost to Texas A and M, and they played That's a couple. A uh, as Todd Graham, the coach for ASU, said, they played a couple of triple option teams, okay. and they were able to to beat them. So their only loss is to an SEC team. Um, th so they have a quality. <laughs> Quality loss, and, <laughs> I, and I guess that's what you call it. Bigger, uh, uh, you know, from a from a bigger conference than than certainly the the Vandals and, and the Sun Belt. Sure. So now this is an up tempo spread offense. Is that right? It is. They they're not going to run anything different than they than they've been running the last two or three years. But so, you know they've had our so number. We, we've seen it. We and and sometimes it doesn't matter. Should have beat it last year. What happened? It wasn't Jason Brown who texted me. It was Jane Barbera. Oh. But I don't know why that. It came was your out. wife. <laughs> Rick's wife texted us. So it's good to know that one of the four people watching. Fantastic. <laughs> Are you in? Is he in trouble? Did he do something? Just keeps cutting in. <laughs> well, I know, it's that's too bad. I mean, it's too bad that it cut out and we had technical glitches. Yeah, so, I'm sorry, sorry, sweetheart. Um, I'm gonna get this fixed, and 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 make sure that the internet works. I could bring over my internet. I'll call Mark Zuckerberg. I'll bring my and you left that great. He's in charge of the internet, right? Uh, you can have that grapefruit juice, or I'll make a greyhound with it later since we have all that vodka. So, <laughs> uh, the point is, this week, I, I poured in that drink. It's can't difficult make it worse. for me to make a. <laughs> man, it's not terrible. It's it's, it's fine. It's, it takes the edge off. Mm. It takes the edge off. It, it makes the heat go away. Yeah. What if you are watching Trojan fans? What you need to know is that this is really anybody's game. It's at seven thirty. Try to stay sober, sober till seven thirty if you can. And. Maybe, maybe we uh, we will right the ship this week. I, for one, am am wanting to get a, a nice win, road win. We only can travel with seventy in the Pac-12, and we will this week. And <laughs> you mean we'll have a full squad? This we have, week. Yeah. we'll have a full squad yeah. this week, and that's our, we, that's our usual squad. So give uh, give them a chance. Give uh, Wilcox and Coach uh, Sarkeesian a chance this week to to right the ship. And I'm going to give them one more chance. 
I'm, and I'm I, with you. I've been I'm their biggest backers it. from the beginning. I have, you know, well, you I, have not. No way. No way. And for you to say that, I, you're taking the high road, and I like it. So we're gonna we're gonna give them this week to adjust and this week to become USC and and uh, and show ASU something more positive than what happened last week on the defensive side. If the offense stays the same, I'm actually okay with it. I liked yeah. what the offense was doing and what they what they went after. The offense is not a problem right now. That, um, that's a well special teams machine. is aggressive, uh, yeah. looking good as well. Yep, uh, new kickers looking just fine. Alex Wood, mm-hmm. is that Alex? Is that right, Mr. Wood? I think okay. you're right. Okay. So the defense had a little slip up, and maybe they can get right back on the horse and, and take this, take this game from the Sun Devils. And for all of you who have been watching, you got anything else that you would like to um, say? Well, I didn't do my picks this week on purpose. Um, last week I did really great. I, I missed three picks. I missed USC, uh-huh. of course. I missed the Notre Dame game. I really thought they were they were going to run out. Yeah. Um, and I missed uh, Alabama. Mm-hmm. I think everybody missed that one, but uh, I was so heartbroken by that USC Stanford game. I was like, I don't want to do it this week. You didn't. So. You weren't feeling it. Uh, I wasn't, okay. and I don't. I don't have a pick for this week either. Okay. Um, I don't know who's going to win this game. If the USC that we all think uh, should have should have shown up last week shows up this week, I think SC wins this game by at least ten. But if we see what we saw more of last week, then yeah. SC's in big trouble. It could easily be a 41-31 game again. Yep. Going their way. Uh, and um, I don't know. So uh, We'll call we, it a pick em. Pick them. And we'll, pick uh, we'll talk to you guys next uh, next week. Hopefully uh, we'll be a little more No, upbeat. two weeks now because yeah. uh, we're actually off we next play. week because That's of the right. bye. So then we'll, we'll come. The next game is a Thursday night game against UW at home. Yep. So we're going to have to uh, organize that. We'll let you know when we're going to broadcast and fight on. Fight on. Uh, I, I, oh, uh, have you ever wanted to stomach. choke yourself with dental floss? Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs>